When he was preaching about keeping God's commandments, he said you have been blessed when you are keeping the commandments. And that God will also extend the days of your life. I love God without doubt. Then uh, it is not just about a show off about this God. Because this God was my brother. It found me really, I was then poor. And the evil spirits were playing about me. The evil spirits, this they call him Tom Rush as well. He was really playing about me. Then I saw the power of the Lord. I saw the goodness of God. I saw the beauty of God. I saw that what is good and best for me is that I must do good myself I must be really positioned in the grace of God Amen. Uh, and I will ask my wife to pray Mamloy can you please pray Nilitse <laughs> Amen. Amen.
My body, my spirit, and my mind, and my soul. Amen. I will live for God. Jesus. Amen. Amen. I love God with my whole heart. I love God with my whole heart. I, I, I love God without compromise.
and the soldier might not leave me. You can never work. So that I can live for you, Allah. You can hold the camera. You want to live. That's a reason why I am saying I love the God of this church. Education is for you just to make the living. 
that corrects you and shows you the way. Yes. When you remain in me, and my words remains in you, without hope and trouble, we know we will ask what so whatsoever that you are in need of. Now I will live with you on the heart of the heart. God will give you his goodness. He will never suffer anyone. And all people who suffer. And all people who suffer. Finally, that is because of the way I am. And then that person in order to keep saying, I'm the child. And I am saying, Hallelujah. 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 Because of that person, the people will deny the gospel and say, there is no such salvation, there is no such a gospel. The grace is here, brethren. There is a grace. We are the of great It's up to us how do we handle this grace? How do we live in this grace? How do we use this grace? But this place do exist. Apostle Paul said there is grace to everyone. You need the prayer, you don't want to. You need the Holy Spirit to be given the Holy Spirit. You need to be humble to go to the world. You want to walk righteous before people and before God, God will give you the righteousness. That is provided your his words are remaining to you. Amen. For as long as you are keeping his words, Amen. For as long as you are keeping his words, God is faithful and God is alive. Even when people are being laid hands, when they are sick, God heals them. That's the reason why that the, I'm, I'm sharing this testimony to say the trouble of sick left because of this name of Jesus. When this gospel was preached to me, I understood it. I, 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 I kept it within me, this, this gospel. I didn't only keep it in church. I didn't just add the numbers to say I'm also one of the people who are in Africa. Child. Amen. 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 The leaders of the church are living us. But this church will never fade, it will never end. It will never die, it will never end. He keeps on anointing and ordaining his people. He keeps on ordaining. By his anointing. He doesn't actually pick and choose and say this one is like this. Wherever he's pointing, wherever his finger is pointing. It is up to you, how did you receive the saints? Those whom people have appointed, will you respect them? Because when you don't respect them, when you don't respect God's ordained authorities, please, you don't respect God himself. What? What destroys our things? It's ourselves. We are spoiling and destroying our 